This is Phyllis Severe from Saffron Trust Women's Foundation, part of the Feeding Austin Family Program here that we have in Travis County. Last year in 2021, we served over 100,000 meals to over 50,000 families. We need your support in Flukeville today. We need your support today. We're feeding families about at least um, three to 500 meals a weekly basis here at the Flukeville location, and we need your support. Go Stacy. <laughs> Weekly we get uh, a, more meals than unfortunately Ms. Everett mentioned. We get about 270 to 295 a day. Uh, we get them delivered first thing in the morning. We have a parking lot full of people and they're usually gone in an hour. We have 60 to 70 attendees, but we have 425 people in the greater Pflugerville area, including Hutto and Round Rock that have signed up to get free food, free meals, free groceries, we have a pantry exchange where you can bring pantry items, donate, and you can also take pantry items. Usually we have produce, bread, and other things. We even have pastries, cobblers that are made by a local person. She's awesome. She brings those on Monday and they're very, very popular. While we've been here, the street has opened up, which is awesome, and the city of Flugerville is paying to have a free COVID testing clinic right across the street. That's helped to drive some drive-by traffic that have been able to come here. And any of the attendees can get some resources when they're here. We have a book full of resources. We also have people here every day that can give different pantry information. We're gonna have a representative that's gonna be here from WIC to help with the sign-up process. We can keep, get people synced up with a bus system that will bring them over here. Just any kind of resources, you will find it. They are. And I get it. Um, I am on disability right now, so this has really helped with me having food when I don't always have money for food. So this has been a great help. Monday to Friday, I don't have to worry about it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. I so appreciate it. My neighbors, who I distributed a lot of the stuff to, so appreciate it also. So. So this is Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. Ms. Gomez. No, I really appreciate it. You know, this helps me. I have to do a lot of But it really helps the meal and the back. And also the produce. And I get to meet a lot of people here. Thank you. And they'll thank you. So you have a friend that wants to meet you. Yes, this is Ms. Everett. How are you? Thank you for what you do. Oh, yeah. we, we can tell people. Awesome. Everybody just awesome. I was told yeah. he saved you applesauce. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Oh, yeah. And he's probably getting too much. Oh, and I, and she just hands it to me. <laughs> we have the best workers. Stacy, mm -hmm. Kanika, this could not be done without them. Mm -hmm. Yes. 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 Putting it out sometimes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> to Scare, thank you for supporting Sacramento Cross and coming in to help. I'm um, trying to get somebody to give me some support. This out on the right. Yeah. 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 Two words of what you think of food. I do, but you want to help. Oh yeah. You, I mean, very great that you all do. Yeah. Thank you. 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 Thank Whatever they have, she's got. So. And she had shoulder surgery. So you're putting off the brain surgery until she's able to take care of that. And they have a sweet woman. 
So they have a sweet woman, Natalie, uh, that helps I have them. About and Natalie is struggling herself yeah. uh, to make ends meet. Yeah. And so we got her with a volunteer that walked her through getting uh, money for her mom yeah. as yeah. a caretaker. Because the mom owns the house outright, yeah. but someone needs to get it. What ward are you uh, on? Ward. Yeah, Ward. Yeah, yeah. Ward. Yeah. Ward. Yeah. Ward. I can find out. You know what you should do? You should do, um... I'm lost. Uh, <laughs> Peanut butter lady, I love peanut butter lady too. Yes, I love peanut butter. I do. My senior is going to take the big one, so I give her my 32 ounce. Oh, the kids down the side. This is a wonderful. Stacy, can you? Yes, it's wonderful. Yeah. Oh yeah. Great testimony. You don't have to say your name of what this is doing for you. This is doing a lot of great things for me and my family. This food supports my little mom. She's an elderly mother. She can't get out. So I come out as much as I can pretty much every Monday through Friday when they're here to pick up meals for my mother and for myself. And this is just a wonderful opportunity to come out here and uh, serve the community. So I, I love what you guys are doing. And I thank you all very much for what you are doing. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, sorry. Good morning. Hi, Leah. Good morning. Well, it's like, good. I get to meet the angel in charge of everything here. Oh, thank you. Okay. Uh, could you tell what this program has done for you? Um, so for me, I'm, I'm just in a little bit of a rough patch right now. I know God's going to take care of me and he's working things out. But in the interim, these ladies and this program has really helped me just get by so that I can save the money I do have for getting to the next place in life. So um, God bless y'all. And I'm truly, truly grateful. Thank you. The, did you want to tell us how this program has affected you? It is great. I have five children, or six children actually, and I uh, don't know if I have that benefits because I'm like $200 over the limit. So this mm -hmm. has been great for us to have extra support and food just to keep in the freezer for when we need it. So I'm greatly appreciative of it. Thank you so much. Hello. Hi, thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. You know what? Actually, y'all. Has helped you, Ms. Vaughn? Yes, I have a lot. I have me and my family, I have uh, my friend too. Thank you. Thank you. And Lori, would you want to tell us how this program has helped you? It's really helped because um, I have family members that go ahead and come as well that have health issues, and then my husband having heart attack, he goes ahead and gives him uh, healthy food to go ahead and eat that tastes great. And um, y'all really help service the community, and we really appreciate your help. Thank you. They um, are helping tremendously. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I come as often as I can. Thank, thank you. you. Hi, guys. I want to say thank you so much for the SAS Farm people who have done these meals. They've been doing this for a year now, and they have really blessed my family, not just myself, but my sisters and my other friends. I really appreciate the donation and the hard work that it takes to make this food, ship the food, bring them back and forth. And I just want to encourage everyone to come out if you need some. Come and try them, and if not, if you can't pay the electricity, come help on your food bill by coming That's here. Right. And then that gives you money to pay your electric mm -hmm. bill, <laughs> or you need three dollars and fifty cents of gas 
gasoline bill. Yep. And if you have any extra money, I know the Saskatchewan people could use some donations because they got to bring the stuff here every day in their own vehicle. So just want to let you know. Thank you. Have a blessed day. Thank you. I don't, that's fair. Yeah, because they're only a hundred. And where are the piggies? Where are the piggies? Okay, my name is Faye Greer, and I'm the mother of the church at Austin Restoration Ministries. I was a drug addict and prostitute on the streets, and they saved my life 20 years ago and told me that God had the power to change my situation. And the food and stuff, I've been delivering food to the homeless for the last 15 years, and I blessed well, God help me bless somebody else because I was really and truly 71 years old and I'm tired. <laughs> and so uh, God has blessed me with um, with Stacy and their ministry of passing out food to the homeless and stuff. And I'm so glad because she was a divine appointment for me because I was struggling trying to find somebody who would pick up the food from Austin Restoration Church. And Austin Restoration Ministries is wonderful. We have drug addicts. I'm a minister to drug addicts as well. And we go out and find people that want to turn their lives over to Christ. Uh, every single day we go out and find somebody because God says, go out there and find his lost ones. You know, he wants us to go out there and find somebody who uh, that are lost and bound. And that's what our mission is. And the food of feeding the homeless, that's been my mission for a long time. And I did it for 15 years. And so Thank you. Uh, I am so blessed to have this ministry right here with Stacy and everybody around them yes. that's <laughs> delivering food to the homeless. And it makes me feel so wonderful. And I thank everybody because if it wasn't for the ministry, I would still be living in a cardboard box up under a tree somewhere. Mm -hmm. And so I thank God for saving my life. Thank the ministry for being reborn again and just helping out everyone that needs help. And so I love you guys so much and I thank you guys thank so much. What a awesome right now. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. there's some, yeah. There's some, there's some